Uh, I am Dave from Solvent Printer Conversion, and today I'm here with uh, Matt, one of my guys that helps me out with all kinds of things, and we have a 60-inch cold film laminator uh, that's in very good shape that we're going to show you some of the features of. Uh, Matt's going to go ahead and get this uh, loaded up here. We've got a print uh, set and some simple uh, cold lamination film here. Um, this machine is used, but it's in very good working shape. I just talked to the manufacturer yesterday um, and was pleased to, uh, to learn that they're one of the few USA-based, true US manufacturers, and that this model of laminator is still in production, um, which means that parts are not a problem, accessories for it are not a problem. Um, you can get what you need and you can get it quickly. Um, what Matt's got going on now, he's got this uh, Got this coming through, um, cold film laminate being applied to the face of it. <coughs> you can adjust the speed. Right now it's set on a pretty slow speed. Um, it can be, you know, can go faster or slower. Um, you can do it with a foot pedal to make it go. Um, there you go. Uh, for ease of operation, or you can have it go with the upper controls. Um, as with any laminator you find, you've got emergency stops and all that. That's that's part of it. Um, this laminator we found is very, very uh, built in a very sturdy fashion. It's, it's very sturdy. Um, I expect parts-wise, you shouldn't have much of a problem. These are used in a lot of uh, franchise sign shops. I think this one technically came out of a signorama. Um, the rollers on this are in near perfect condition. There's a couple little nicks on the lower roller um, that we're going to do some more testing on to see if it even shows when we uh, run some stuff through. Um, I did talk to the manufacturer and they can uh, re-manufacture uh, re the rollers if, if you needed something that was 100% perfect. Um, there's also the option with this unit of adding a, an additional roller down here to feed uh, backing paper um, like that if you were going to use a laminate that was wider than your, uh, than your media that you were applying it to. Right now what Matt's just doing is using some of this backing paper um, as basically our leader in there to keep the adhesive film from sticking to the rollers. And that's a very simple thing to do without adding anything else to this machine. Um, now we're going to pull this out the back, uh, cut it off, and we can show you uh, what we've got. Uh, obviously one of the common mistakes people make with this is to get in there and do something that's going to cut the rollers. Matt's more experienced than that, obviously, and he knows exactly what to do, where to cut, and all that. Um, and we can get a little, uh, get a little close up here. Show you, we've got pretty even, uh, pretty even application. Um, so one thing that this machine does not have, uh, which is on some. Some newer models is what's called heat assist, where there's a small amount of heat that is applied in the rollers. Um, this one does not have that feature. However, tons and tons of sign shops have been doing uh, cold film lamination without heat assist. It is something that some people find is beneficial. Uh, it decreases the initial silvering effect of some laminates. Um, but most people will say that the silvering effect goes away um, on its own. It just takes a little, you know, it takes a little bit of curing time. Um, so overall, we feel that this is a very sturdy, solid laminator. Again, it's a Leadco Econocraft 60, 60 inch cold film laminator. Um, we've got this for sale now. Um, I think we're going to pop it up on eBay. And uh, if you have any questions about it, please get in touch with me, uh, Dave at solventprinterconversion.com, or you can give me a call, 330-556-5485. Um, if this is way in the future, this machine is probably gone, but we may have something else for you. We often have uh, different types of printers, printer cutters, and occasionally laminators and stuff like that. So please get in touch with us, check out our website, and uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks.